This lesson is about vector resolution. Let's say that we have a person pulling an 8 kilogram wagon with a force of 20 newtons at an angle of 30 degrees above the horizontal. What would the acceleration of the wagon be? Well, let's start with the free body diagram. We have the 8 kilogram wagon and a 20 newton force at an angle of 30 degrees above the horizontal. That dashed line just represents what horizontal would be. Newton's second law requires that the net force be in the same direction as the acceleration. Clearly this wagon is going to accelerate to the right. So the force that we would use to calculate the acceleration must also be to the right. But that 20 newtons is at an angle. So some of it is directed upward and some of it is directed to the right. We need to determine how much of it is rightward only. In this case, and in most cases, we care about the horizontal and vertical components. Let's draw and label them. Fx represents the component of the 20 newtons that is to the right, and Fy represents the component of the 20 newtons that is upward. How are we going to determine these? Trigonometry! I know that many of you are only taking trigonometry now, but I assure you the amount of trigonometry that we need to use to solve this problem is the basic trigonometry that you learned in middle school. Here's a reminder. Let's start with fx. Since fx is the adjacent side to the 30 degrees, and we know the value of the hypotenuse, let's use the cosine function. We know that the cosine of the angle is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. Let's plug in what we know. We know the angle is 30 degrees, and we know the hypotenuse is 20 newtons. We can cross multiply to see that the horizontal component is the hypotenuse times the cosine of the angle. When we plug those into our calculators, we find the horizontal component to be 17.3 newtons. Now for the vertical component. Fy is the opposite side to that 30 degrees, so we'll use the sine function where the sine of the angle theta equals the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. We can substitute in the 30 degrees and the 20 newtons, cross multiply, and find that the vertical component is equal to 10 newtons. Let's get back to our problem. Now that we know the horizontal component of the force is 17.3 newtons, we can calculate the acceleration of the wagon. So A equals F net over M, the net horizontal force is just the 17.3 newtons. We'll divide that by the 8 kilogram mass and find that the acceleration of this wagon is 2.16 meters per second squared.